Have you heard of the Save Iman Norway Masjid project? Your brothers and sisters at Islamnet are establishing a one-of-its-kind masjid, dawah and community centre in the capital of Norway and they need our urgent support now. Every person that accepts Islam through this centre, every revert who learns about their deen and calls their family to the worship of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, you will get the rewards inshallah. Click the button to donate and earn this tremendous reward inshallah and don't forget to share the video. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh, brothers and sisters and dear friends. I'm here with Brother Muhammad Ijab. How are you doing, Aki? Not bad, alhamdulillah. Good, good, yeah, alhamdulillah. We know you're not bad, you know. We saw those little jabs there and there's, you know, hooks, you know. Is the guy still alive? <laughs> uh, he might be in a coma. But uh, today we're going to have a different intellectual coma, brothers and sisters. We are going to be not reacting, but there's a tweet of somebody called Young Don. So Young Don is, I don't even know who he is, I'll be honest. I don't know who he is. Uh, but to be honest, he went from Young Don to Young Con. Uh, why? Because he had a few discussions with Sheikh uh, Uthman Farouk as well. Um, and I think he kind of intellectually uh, was, I mean, educated. Let's say educated. So he went, he went to say the following. Okay. So basically, after being intellectually educated, um, that Trinity doesn't make sense and write different other things. Here's what he had to say. So I spent all day today watching David Wood and Nabil Qureshi. Debating Muslims are pointless. All I got to say is before you consider following Islam, just do a little research from the people I just mentioned. Basically, okay, after that, so basically he made a YouTube comment as well after he was invited by the, the, the three Muslim brothers or something like that. It didn't go well for him, you know, but if you have a belief in Christianity and the Trinity, obviously it's not going to go well. So he goes, bro, I don't care if you respect me. I won't be, I won't be your judge when you die. You worship a false religion founded by a man that, um, the nine-year-old girl, yeah? I never claimed to be a biblical scholar, but quite frankly, I don't need to be in, a, in order to preach the gospel. I did not come to debate you Muslim friends, but to rather learn. But in true nature of the so many of these Muslim teachers, he is more fixated on trying to treat, treat me up using mental traps and tricks that he has used a thousand times instead of discussing the matter at hand. So this is Sheikh Uthman Farouk. Okay, so the question I want to ask is why would a Christian who has an intellectual discussion, and it doesn't go to plan because of his belief system why do they become so bitter why do they have to resort to ad hominems and attacks and not only that actually suggest people like <laughs> rotten wood and his likes who desecrate and rip the quran i mean what does that tell you about the person i don't know about this guy but i, I don't think i want to uh, by the sounds of it this individual obviously calling himself young don he doesn't know he's, he's he, you know he's dealing with the real don actually the champion uh Alidawa, right? <laughs> <laughs> and uh, uh, look, I mean, uh, you know, uh, what's his point? What does he? What okay, does it's he very, very simple. Okay. <laughs> okay, okay, let's let's, 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 break, it, let's break it down. Let's break it down. Yeah. <laughs> He's got nothing. The yeah. reason I mention him is because I want to address the specific point. Yeah. His claim is very simple. Okay, he got intellectually rinsed. He's upset by it. He's emotional by it. So his argument back is what your prophet married Aisha at nine. Or uh, did whatever, etc. So his claim is this: Islam can't be true. <laughs> oh, uh, we were talking about the Trinity, and that was the that, that's how he retorted. <laughs> well, that would seem to be material that, <laughs> to, the, to the discussion. That happened. <laughs> so, so the thing is this: yeah, let's 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 get this. <laughs> Here's my criteria mm. If his claim is If the premise is this Your Islam is false Because the Prophet Muhammad um, Married Aisha at nine And he believes that to be moral Okay Yes okay. Please Please go ahead Please yeah. Okay If his claim is that The premise yeah. is your false Islam is false Because your Prophet married Aisha at nine And he believes that's immoral Okay mm. Fine, no problem. Let's go with the argument that that <laughs> on that basis, the Prophet Muhammad cannot be a true prophet, peace be upon him, <laughs> and therefore Islam is false. No problem. Let's apply it to the Bible. Do we have to be consistent? Do we have to be consistent. Okay. Well, if you want to be a Christian, okay. I'm... No problem. Okay. If you want to be a Christian, in the, okay. Do you, <laughs> huh? you, you, the Christian that you speak to, they agree that Jesus is God, right? Yes, they do. Yes. Do they accept that Jesus is the God of the Old Testament? Yes, they do. Yes. Okay. Do they agree that in the Book of Numbers? Correct. Yeah. In which uh, verse? <laughs> We're talking if you about know your numbers, that is. <laughs> it's uh, chapter 31, verse 18. Okay, so what does it say there? By the way, when you refer to it, please refer to it, not God of the Old Testament, as Jesus saying it. So what did Jesus command? Well, I mean, it, the reason why we're saying that Jesus said it is, is mm. clearly because if you believe in a triune God, yes. then we believe that that is, is the author of the Old Testament, then Jesus is part of that. Right, so? Uh, and so, for example, when it says, take the young uh, ones uh, for yourself, or the... You know, the, the Hebrew words, uh, taf. Okay. Uh, 
lachem. You know, okay. which, so you can take it for yourself. I'm, so like, I'm liking the Hebrew, by the way. I'm liking. Oh, you know, I'm liking. So it. got, it's a bit yeah. like Arabic. Lechem. Yeah, it's yeah, yeah, the same yeah, kind yeah, of yeah, it's it's okay. language. So who's this order being given to by Jesus? Is yes, it, it's uh, is given it to Moses. Moses uh, to the Amalekites. So let me get this right. So Jesus, the God of the Old Testament, is ordering Moses, who is a prophet. Yeah. Does the Christian accept him as a prophet? Yeah, yeah. When he did this act, is he still a prophet? Yeah. Okay, so let me get this right. So Jesus of the Old Testament, which is God, yeah. is commanding Moses, who is a prophet. And while he's doing this act of keeping the little ones for himself, yeah. he's still a prophet. They don't deny his prophethood. Well, absolutely. Okay, yeah. but, but but when it comes to the prophet Muhammad, who didn't do this act, which you're talking about, because here, the Hebrew, the, the rabbis actually say that mm. this might be talking about a three-year-old child. Well, absolutely. Uh, uh, this is a good point you're making about the rabbis because the Talmud, you yeah. know, for example, the Palestinian Talmud is re referred to uh, thusly, not because uh, of Palestine, New Palestine. This is talking about an ancient document. Okay. Palestine still existed at the time, the Jewish Palestinian Talmud. Yeah, not, not, not made up Israel. Yeah. No, no, we're talking about you know, something Palestine. the Jewish, Jewish people believed in for years. Okay. Uh, it was clearly saying that you could, this is talking about uh, slavery, it's talking about taking uh, prepubescence for yourself. Uh, mm -hmm. And in fact, let me read something just because uh, some people will be th thinking that this is uh, maybe some kind of a uh, Islamic uh, apologetics. Okay, so let's, it might be. For example, okay. the theological Bible commentary uh, Samuel uh, Ballantyne states yeah. uh, the following: He says that those who have not known a man by sleeping with him, thirty-one eighteen of Numbers, mm -hmm. must be spared. The text does specify. The text does specify. He states uh, what keeping them alive for. Mm -hmm. uh, for yourself means what does it mean but we may reasonably assume from <coughs> other legislation mm -hmm. says, you know, yeah. concerning the treatment of women captured in war and he mentions deuteronomy chapter 21 verses 10 to 14 mm -hmm. that sparing their lives opens possibilities that may be incorporated into israelite community and upon marriage to an Israelite being granted full citizenship. If his claim is that the Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him cannot be a true prophet because of something he deems to be immoral, no problem. If we applied the set, same thing there, because there's a prophet and there's God Almighty, which is more higher. Mm. Your God of the Old Testament, which is Jesus, who are stipulated Moses to carry out this action of keeping the little girls after killing people for himself, and he was still a prophet. You don't reject his prophethood. And if that's the case, then you need to say bye to Jesus. You need to reject your God outright. If this is your condition, because if this is your condition that the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, married Aisha and consummated at nine, then what's happening here is worse. Therefore, it's, Mr. Friend, absolutely, you need to you need to free yourself from Christianity. Absolutely, because you what, have to free. Let's be uh, uh, if, consistent. If, if what he's saying is yes. that if what he's opposed to is taking virgins, young ones, uh, taf um, yeah. in the Hebrew. All these kind of mm. things, uh, he sees that as moral aberrations, abhorrent, is uh, yeah. totally incorrect. Yes. Then I would say to him uh, mm. that his God was the major facili master facilitator yes. of such disrespect Indeed. and desecration to Indeed. the young ones. His, his God was, the, yeah. was master facilitator yes, exactly. of such uh, desecration to the young ones. Exactly. Which means uh, not only was he participating in such action, yes. uh, actually I would say much more, I would say that his God, his God was, the, the, was, was allowing, moralizing, yes. legitimizing, yes. validating yes. such action. Uh, so that many men could uh, enjoy the young ones in, mm. in the way that. So I don't know what mm. this man is so talking. talking about. If he says, "Well, then," because uh, there could be a counter argument. He could say, "Well, Jesus came and he revoked the law." You see, mm. uh, but even though he said, that "I shall not come and revoke any yes. law of the of the of the of, of, of the prophets." At one point, it, he he did he stipulated. Who cares exactly? So Who cares? The, the point is, is it conceivable? Yeah. At any point in time, yeah. historically, that yes. your God Jesus Christ mm. in the triune uh, yes. uh, formulation of the Trinity, yes. that he 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 indulged in facilitating such a thing in any time. So you're telling me that there could be a time yes. where such action could be uh, proper. Yes, exactly. Uh, so no, that's, that's disgraceful. Not. What was stipulated to happen to the your little God, ones? Your God, your God allows this uh, little ones. So the little ones, the little ones, and let's speak to we, the we young will ones. Find, we will find like the Quran. I think the, the young ones, ones being raped. Uh, the young ones. Sorry to say, being uh, college being students smirched, uh, and I mean, desecrated. Uh, <laughs> I mean, that's it. Young Don, I think, you know, this is more than enough for you. It's more than enough for you. I think this capsule here, this little pill, this little prescription that we gave you is more than enough for you and Young your YouTube Don, channel. Uh, listen. Yeah? You're a, you're a con. Yes, listen, that's what you no, are. No, you're think, a con. He's a con. He's a con. For him to come and... The young Don, yeah, I think what he needs to... Give him to, some last words, Hijab. Last words. Last words are, look, I mean, I don't mm. think he has uh, much to muster by way of intellectual mm. fortitude or physical... Uh, mm. Uh, fortitude. Mm. He's bankrupt. <laughs> I think he's, he's intellectually and conversationally bankrupt. And, bankrupt. I, and I do think that he's run out of bullets. Mm. 
uh, if his Christianity that he's trying to defend, I think he's doing a poor job in doing so. Mm. Uh, referencing his masters who I've already had my way with. Mm. Yeah. I, and uh, watch, throwing watch, them out, watch, throwing them out. Watch what, uh, watch what happened to uh, David Wood. David with Wood hijab. and, and what to him? these individuals, his yeah. masters, who yeah. who've have been uh, absolutely annihilated. Decimated. Decapitated uh, intellectually. Absolutely. I, I, yes. I think that, yes. uh, I think he admires us, bro. He, he does, he must do. He does. Uh, yeah. I, look, I mean, he, how could he not? <laughs> 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 this is the question. I mean, Young Don must ask, answer this I mean, question. I mean, Forget about all the yeah, yeah. religion thing. You're not good at that. He said it himself. He's not a scholar. He's not anything. No. Uh, how mm. how could you not admire? Mm. Yeah. Yes. Ali Dawa. How could you not admire? Him? <laughs> hmm? <coughs> He's everything you've ever wanted I to mean, be. You need to be careful. He's everything you ever wanted to be as a child. We have, we have Muslims that <laughs> defend defend the enemies of Islam. <laughs> let's, 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 let's be careful. Let's be careful. He's, you know, he's everything you ever wanted to be know? as a child. You know. Yes, he's he's engaged in uh, normal activities. He's uh, influential. <laughs> normal activities. Yes, there's been some paranormal he activities. Be as well. He believes in a true religion. Come on, <laughs> so, I mean that's it. Let's not let's wrap it up. Yeah, from Muhammad Ijab Ali Dawa to Young Con, uh, can you do the your finish sign, please, officially? <laughs> Have you heard of the Save Iman Norway Masjid project? Your brothers and sisters at Islamnet are establishing a one-of-its-kind masjid, dawah and community centre in the capital of Norway and they need our urgent support now. Every person that accepts Islam through this centre, every revert who learns about their deen and calls their family to the worship of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, you will get the rewards inshallah. Click the button to donate and earn this tremendous reward inshallah and don't forget to share the video.